Um, this was not planned at all, and you guys actually caught me a very weird time. Um, I was just grabbing some food, and I I talk to people all the time. Okay, I I I, I do emails. I talk to people. You know, I I I chop everybody that I can. Um. I talk to kids, I talk to parents, that's what I do. But while I was driving, like I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, like like a hundred percent real. While I was driving, out of nowhere, my heart was angry. Like out of nowhere, my heart was angry. And I know this isn't anger for, from the enemy because I have no reason to be mad. This is a righteous anger right now. And I want to tell you what I'm talking about. <sighs> like, I'm upset. I'm upset. And it's not me. Like, it's not even me that's upset. I am not here. So that... And, and I'm talking to the parents right now. This is about the parents. I am not here so that you can use me to change your child. I am not here because... I'm, I'm not here so that you can use me to change how your kid dresses or to change your child's sexuality. I'm not here because you have an issue with your child. You know how many messages I get daily from parents asking me to help them and asking me to, you know, oh, my kid this, my kid that. Like, I get it, okay? I am not here to change your child. I am here here for people who, who want to know Jesus. And when it comes to the LGBT community, I am here to bring them Jesus. While I was driving, my heart was, it was angry. My heart was full of anger. And it's because there are parents who message me out of the wrong motive. They have the wrong intentions. And I didn't notice this before. And the Lord, the Lord just smacked me in the face. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. You are not going to use me because you have a personal vendetta over your child. You're not going to use me because you are embarrassed of your child or because you get uncomfortable that your child is homosexual. I am not here for that reason. I am here to help them with their identities. I am here to tell them about what God has done for me. I am here to tell them to repent and to bring them to Jesus. You know how many people, oh, oh, if my kid was straight, I would love them more. If my daughter dressed like a girl, I'd love her better. If my son dressed like a boy, I wouldn't be so angry with him. What if Jesus said that about you? What if Jesus said, what if Jesus said, if you weren't drunk, I'd love you better. If you weren't a sinner, I would love you more. But for some reason, parents want to message me because they're embarrassed of their kids. They want to message me because they keep arguing with their kids and they think that it's going to help them. It doesn't matter what your child's sexuality is. If you guys are fighting, if you guys have issues, it's not because they're gay or lesbian. That's the work of the enemy causing division in the household. And it makes me upset because I've, I've personally been through this. Okay? I am not here so that I can change your child's sexuality and you are not going to use me because you have a personal conviction or because you are embarrassed of your kids. That is not what I'm here for. I'm not going to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with you because you have a, a, a problem with your child. I'm not going to book a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with you because you would love your child better if they were just straight. That is not what I'm here for. I am here because I have been through this and God wants to use me to help your children. But if you think for a moment that I'm going to book a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with you because your child's a homosexual and you just can't stand it, you're wrong. That is different. If you are angry at your child because of their sexuality, if you are embarrassed of your kids for whatever reason, that is a heart issue on you. It, there's a problem on your end, not on your child's end. Your child clearly needs deliverance and they need Jesus, but you need to repent. And you need to repent for trying to use me in the wrong way to help your kids. You don't want to help your kid. You want me to change your kid so you can feel better about your child. So you can be comfortable about your child. So that you don't have to tell your friends that your child's a homosexual. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. That's not why I'm here.
And while I was driving, the Lord just smacked me in the face with that. Like my heart was angry for no reason. Like I was just driving home from getting food and out of nowhere, I'm on the highway. My heart just gets like crushed with anger and sadness, like sorrow. And I had no reason to be. I know it's from the Lord. Sitting here crying in a parking lot because there are people out there who who are like that. Why can't you just love your child the way they are and tell them about Jesus Christ? Because it's not me who's going to change your child. It's Jesus that's going to change your child. My testimony might be a part of that, but I am I will not book a Zoom call with you because you're embarrassed of your kid. If you want your kid to change, you need to tell them about Jesus. That is your job. That's your, like, what are you doing? I'm not saying all parents are like this. I am talking to the people who have specifically sent me messages like that. And the Lord is giving me discernment so I can tell which parents are really seeking the help, the genuine help and love of their kids to lead them to Christ and which parents simply have a vendetta, which parents simply have the wrong intentions. And I'm glad that he has given this to me now. I have no idea how many, how many parents I've spoken to before that had the wrong intention. I didn't think about it that way before, but God has laid that on my heart now. So I wanna let you know right now that I will not book a Zoom call with you if you are just trying to get me to, to help your child so that you feel better about yourself. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna book a Zoom call with you and your child so that you can make them feel bad about themselves or because you're embarrassed about them no. If that's how you feel about your kid, then you need to be in the prayer closet. You need to be praying. You need to ask God to change your heart. It's the heart that is wicked, not the child. It's the heart that is deceitful, not the person. What's wrong with your child is an attack over their life from Satan. It is not your child that's the problem. If you have a problem with your child, then you have a problem with yourself. And the reason why you can't love your child is because you don't love you and you don't, you don't love the Lord. The two most important commandments, love God and love people. But that only, that only applies when the person's a grown up. You can't love your child as they are and lead them back to Christ. You want to use me? No, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. And enough is en enough. I, 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 I will not do that. I will not play a part in destroying your child. It's happened to me. I know what that feels like and I'm not going to do that to somebody else. Okay? Now, I, I say this because I love you and I say this because I was convicted about it and I say this because God clearly put it on my heart as I was driving. So, I hear this. If this message is for you, you need to repent. Thank mm -hmm. you.